Did you know that without pollinators like bees and butterflies, one out of every three bites of food we eat would disappear? From the juicy watermelon on your summer picnic to the comforting warmth of a cup of coffee in the morning, these tiny creatures play a crucial role in bringing these delights to our tables. As they flit from flower to flower, collecting nectar and pollen, they enable the fertilization and reproduction of a vast array of plant life. This intricate dance is the very foundation of our food chain. Welcome to Don't Do This Guide. Here in the garden, a silent symphony is taking place. Bees, with their fuzzy bodies and industrious spirit, diligently move from blossom to blossom, their tiny legs laden with golden pollen. Butterflies, like fragments of the summer sky, dance gracefully between flowers, their delicate wings brushing against petals. These are our pollinators, the unsung heroes of the natural world, crucial to the survival of countless plant species, including much of the food we rely upon. Pollination is the vital process by which pollen grains are transferred from the anther to the stigma, the receptive part of the female reproductive organ. This transfer can occur through various means, from wind and water to the actions of animals, and it is this last group, particularly insects, that we often associate with the term pollinators. Bees, in particular, are incredibly efficient pollinators. Their hairy bodies are perfectly adapted to pick up and carry pollen, and they visit a vast number of flowers during a single foraging trip. Butterflies, with their long tongues, are adept at reaching nectar deep within tubular flowers, transferring pollen as they go. The importance of pollinators extends far beyond our gardens. They are essential for the health and biodiversity of ecosystems worldwide, ensuring the reproduction of wild plants, trees and flowers that provide food and habitat for countless other creatures. Without pollinators, our world would be a far less vibrant and bountiful place. Imagine grocery store shelves sparsely stocked, devoid of the fruits and vegetables we often take for granted. By understanding the vital role pollinators play and taking steps to support them, we can help ensure their survival and, in turn, the health of our Just like us, pollinators need water to survive. By incorporating simple water sources into your garden, you can provide these hardworking creatures with a place to quench their thirst. Bird baths can also serve as valuable water sources for pollinators. Even an upside-down garbage can lid with water and stones can become a haven for thirsty pollinators. Consider adding a small fountain or dripper to your water feature. By providing these simple water sources, you can transform your garden into a true oasis for pollinators. As the sun begins to set and the day draws to a close, pollinators seek shelter for the night, just as we do. Providing safe havens for these creatures to rest and raise their young is crucial for their survival. And your garden can become a sanctuary for these hardworking insects. Imagine a cozy bee hotel, tucked away amongst the flowers, its hollow stems and drilled holes offering a welcome retreat for solitary bees. Dense shrubs and hedges, often overlooked for their structural beauty, play a vital role in providing shelter for a variety of pollinators. Even a simple pile of leaves, left undisturbed in a corner of your garden, can become a valuable overwintering habitat for certain pollinator species. Cavities in trees, often formed by natural decay or the work of woodpeckers, offer prime real estate for cavity nesting bees. When creating shelter for pollinators, it's important to choose locations that offer protection from the elements, such as strong winds and heavy rain. By incorporating these simple yet effective shelter options into your garden, you can provide a safe and welcoming environment for pollinators. Imagine a world where the gentle hum of bees is replaced by an eerie silence, where butterflies no longer dance among the flowers. The indiscriminate use of pesticides poses a grave threat to pollinators, and it is our responsibility to protect these vital creatures by creating safe and healthy environments within our gardens Chemical pesticides, while effective at controlling unwanted pests, often have unintended consequences, harming beneficial insects like bees and butterflies in the process. These chemicals can contaminate nectar and pollen, poisoning pollinators who ingest them, leading to disorientation, paralysis, and even death. Fortunately, there are many natural and effective alternatives to chemical pesticides. Ladybugs with their voracious appetites are natural predators of aphids and other garden pests. 
Encouraging natural predators like birds and bats to visit your garden is another effective way to control pest populations without resorting to harmful chemicals. By embracing these natural pest control methods, we can create a healthier and safer environment for pollinators. Imagine your garden as a vibrant canvas, bursting with a kaleidoscope of colors, each hue beckoning pollinators with the promise of sweet nectar and pollen. Incorporating a variety of flower shapes and colors is not just aesthetically pleasing, but it also plays a crucial role in attracting a diverse range of pollinators to your garden. Bees, with their complex vision, are particularly drawn to flowers in shades of blue, purple, and yellow. Butterflies, on the other hand, are attracted to bright and vibrant colors, especially reds, oranges, and yellows. Flower shape is just as important as color in attracting different pollinators. Bees, with their short tongues, prefer flowers with shallow blossoms, such as daisies and asters. Butterflies, with their long, straw-like tongues, are particularly adept at reaching nectar deep within tubular flowers, such as honeysuckles and salvias. By incorporating a variety of flower shapes and colors, you create a welcoming environment for a wider range of pollinators. Imagine a network of green corridors stretching across our neighborhoods and cities, connecting gardens, parks, and green spaces into a vibrant tapestry of life. This is the concept behind Pollinator Pathways, a movement dedicated to creating safe and welcoming routes for pollinators to navigate our increasingly fragmented landscapes. As urban sprawl continues to encroach upon natural habitats, pollinators face the daunting task of finding food, water, and shelter in an increasingly challenging environment. Pollinator pathways aim to bridge these gaps, providing essential resources and safe passage for these vital creatures. Imagine a street lined with pollinator-friendly gardens, each one a stepping stone, a vibrant oasis in a sea of concrete. Bees and butterflies, guided by the scent of nectar and the sight of colorful blooms, can easily navigate these green corridors, finding sustenance and shelter along the way. Community gardens, with their shared passion for growing food and fostering community, are ideal locations for establishing pollinator pathways. By working together, we can create a network of pollinator pathways that extend far beyond our individual gardens. Creating a pollinator paradise is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, observation, and a willingness to learn from the natural world. As you embark on this rewarding endeavor, remember that nature moves at its own pace and the rewards are well worth the wait. Observe the visitors to your garden. Take note of the types of pollinators you attract, the plants they favor, and their behavior. This knowledge will help you tailor your gardening practices to better meet their needs, creating a more inviting and sustainable habitat. Don't be discouraged if you don't see immediate results. It takes time for pollinators to discover and establish themselves in a new environment. Be patient continue to provide the essential resources they need, and soon your garden will be abuzz with life. Most importantly, approach this endeavor with a sense of joy and wonder. Creating a pollinator paradise in your garden is a rewarding experience that benefits both you and the environment. By following these simple steps, you can attract and support a variety of bees and butterflies, ensuring your garden is buzzing with life. The sight of these beautiful creatures flitting from flower to flower is not only a feast for the eyes, but also a reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things. By planting a diverse array of flowers, providing water sources, offering shelter, and avoiding pesticides, you create a haven for pollinators, a place where they can thrive and continue their vital work. Your garden becomes more than just a collection of plants. It transforms into a thriving ecosystem, a testament to your commitment to conservation. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please subscribe to our channel, Don't Do This Guide, and give us a thumbs up. Share your own tips and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear how you're creating your own pollinator paradise. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.